Thank you for joining us once again on ECMID TV. This is where we get to meet the people who are going to be speaking at the forthcoming ECMID conference in Vienna. I'm Michael Jackson, your ECMID TV host, and our guest today is Professor Francois Barsenussi, who is a French virologist and a director of the Regulation of Retroviral Infections Division at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. Um, what's amazing, of course, everyone should know Professor Francois Barsenussi in her own right. In 2008, she, in association with her partner, her mentor, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discovery of HIV. And Professor, that's, it's an amazing honor for us to have you coming up at the ECMID event in your own right, but it's an absolute pleasure to be talking to you as well. 2008 may seem like a long time ago now. Does it seem like yesterday to you, ma'am? Uh, yes, of course. It uh, looked uh, like yesterday for me. I mean, uh, it has been so busy uh, since 2008, and, uh, you know, it's uh, only eight years, and it seems to me that it was yesterday. <laughs> it must have been an amazing discovery for you. Do you remember the moment that you discovered HIV and how it felt while you were in your laboratory? But, you know, uh, like uh, all uh, the discovery in science, it's not only one day that you discovered something. Uh, it's a long process. So uh, we uh, first detect something that could be uh, the virus causing AIDS, but then we have to confirm, we have to uh, uh, make a link between the virus itself and the disease. Uh, we then have to start the characterization of the virus and so on. So <coughs> let's say between the first detection of the virus, which was January 1983, and the, uh, let's say, the, the convincing data that the virus was a cause of, uh, of the disease of AIDS, it took, uh, let's say, more than six months. Uh, that means that September, October uh, 1983, we already had data that uh, were, for us, convincing enough. Now, I understand that you also um, mandatorily retired from active research in 2015, and you're planning a full-time right. retirement, I understand, sometime this year, hopefully not before the ECMID Congress. No, I'm not planning a full-time retirement. I'm planning to reduce my activity by uh, 60%. Uh, until the end of this year, which means uh, uh, I will still have 40% remaining activity, and I can tell you 40% of remaining activities remain for me 100%. Well, that's so, fantastic. <laughs> so uh, the only thing that I don't have anymore is a lab. You were mentioning at the beginning that I'm the head of the retroviral, uh, uh, regulation of uh, retrovirus uh, unit. Uh, that's not true anymore. Uh, uh, I don't have a lab. I have uh, many of activities that uh, mostly as, uh, as uh, advocacy uh, for research, advocacy for people affected by HIV, um, etc. Uh, but uh, advocacy also for Pasteur Institute and for the network of the Pasteur Institute. But I don't have a lab anymore. That's why I want to make that clear. I understand. But you, as you say, you've also actively contributed to several scientific societies and committees, not only at the Pasteur Institute, but also exactly. other AIDS organizations as well, including the National Agency for AIDS Research in France. And I understand as well as a consultant to the World Health Organization and also the UN in relation to AIDS HIV. Yes, I'm in contact and still in contact with UNAIDS, uh, WHO. Uh, I contact also with, uh, with AMFA in the United States, with uh, uh, several uh, agencies in, in, in the United States as well. I'm part of uh, many uh, uh, scientific advisory boards, in particular, for example, uh, the CAPRISA scientific advisory board in, in South Africa. Uh, so I've 
I, I have a lot of activities, by the way. Fantastic, Professor. Now, um, what will you be addressing the ECMID conference on, ma'am, if I can ask you that? Uh, sure. Uh, I, 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 if I remember well, the title of my talk is Contemplating an End uh, to uh, the HIV Epidemic, uh, What is Left to be Done. Um, what I would like to do in a few minutes uh, you know, to make the following message. Uh, we have made tremendous progress in terms of uh, uh, research and in terms of delivering tools for prevention, tools for uh, testing, tools for uh, treatment. Uh, however, even if it has been a wonderful progress and if somehow we know that if those tools uh, could be available to everyone in the world, we certainly can control uh, the HIV epidemic, but that does not mean that we will be able to um, eradicate uh, the HIV epidemic. To eradicate the HIV epidemic, we really need uh, to have a vaccine, we really need to have a treatment that will cure HIV, uh, or at least to induce uh, sustainable remission in patients on treatment. That means that the patient can stop the treatment and they will remain uh, undetectable for the virus even if they are still infected. So, I mean, this is the main uh, challenges that we have today, and I will talk a little bit about these uh, challenges of uh, vaccine and uh, uh, and cure research and uh, all the efforts that are made at international level uh, to achieve uh, this goal of vaccine and this goal of uh, cure or at least uh, remission. Um, I will, for example, speak about uh, similarities between uh, uh, HIV persistence on treatment and uh, cancer, tumor cells. And that means that today we have a, a new avenue of, uh, uh, of research on, on treatment for HIV cure, which are similar to uh, the novel uh, cancer therapies. So that is the kind of uh, presentation I would like uh, to, to, to do, showing people that unfortunately it's not the end of uh, the HIV epidemic yet. Um, and we still have uh, uh, a lot of uh, research to do and to try to do it uh, as much as possible uh, together or together as we did at the beginning of the HIV epidemic in the early 80s. So as you say, current antiviral treatments can certainly reduce HIV-associated morbidity, we can prolong survival, sure. and almost prevent transmission of HIV at this point. How long do you think, Professor, is it, is it even fair of me to ask you that question? How long do you think it'll take in years before a cure is uncovered? I will not answer to that question. I will not answer to this question because we don't know. Uh, and I think, you know, it has been too much said in the past, for example, by researchers that we will have a vaccine in, uh, within the next uh, two years or within the next five years, and five years after, we will not have any vaccine yet. So uh, it's not, you know, each research is not predictable. If you had asked me the question, the same question uh, in December, end of December uh, 1982, uh, how long it will take for you to discover the, the AIDS virus, I will have to tell you exactly the same. I don't know. Uh, and it turned out that a few weeks after, we had the first signal of a virus that might, could be associated to, uh, to the disease. So it can take a long time, it can take um, less time, we don't know. But we know one thing, for vaccine trials, for uh, therapeutic trials, we know already that it's a long process to uh, show the efficacy of a vaccine and to show the efficacy of a trial. It could take several years already. Uh, to, uh, to for the vaccine trials to get to obtain the data. So 
we are not at that stage yet. I mean, there are several studies ongoing. How many of them will uh, give hope? We don't know. And uh, up to now, the one that has been done, both for vaccines, both for cure research, has not been successful. So it's impossible, uh, when again, it's impossible to predict. I do understand, but your continued work and involvement in this very, very important field for humanity is much appreciated. And Professor Barsanusi, we are so delighted that you'll be speaking to us live at ECMID in just a few short weeks from now in Vienna. Thank you. Thank you very much. An absolute pleasure, and thank you for. I'll look forward to meeting you in person, and thank you for taking the time out to spend time with us today as well. You're very much welcome. Au revoir. Bye bye. Merci beaucoup, madame. Bye bye.